From sex to sorcery to divination, Druid Magic is a book that will take you through all of the spectrums of the magical workings of Druidry. Hey there, saplings. Welcome back to Esoteric Moment. Today is a book review, and it is Druid Magic, or The Practice of Celtic Wisdom, Druid Magic, by... Maya Maggie Sutton and Nicholas Mann. This book is a great resource for druids who are really looking to get into the, like the sorcery and uh, muddy gray areas of magical workings. It has a lot of information and could in many ways be used as a beginner druid book. The first section of the book is all about kind of connecting druid lore to practice. The second section is a little bit more practical on like what is a druid, what's the history, why is it relevant to today. It's actually a section that's usually first in a druid or beginner pagan book but they kind of put it in the middle. It works really well. The third section is called advanced training and it's about like journeying, working with nature, some divination, that sort of thing. I love how this book has a lot of topics and it goes in depth into a bunch of it. There's some personal stories but a lot of just really rich storytelling and it makes it enjoyable to read. I think it will appeal very strongly to the druid who is more the like magician druid or someone who really is heavily influenced from a lot of those fantasy elements, you know, that's something that enriches their practice and ideas about Celtic spirituality and druidry. If that's like where Alan flows to you, this would be a great book for you. For me, it was good, but not like amazing. So I give it more like a three and a half, a four out of five stars. Excellent book, but not something I will probably reference much, nor is it something that I will necessarily keep on my bookshelf. It's not terrible, nothing outlandishly wrong with it, but also not something that I could honestly recommend spending money on. It's definitely a rent from the library book for me. What was interesting as I read it is that some of it felt dated. It didn't seem quite as relevant to the current flow of paganism or the current needs of a magical practitioner in today's world. I don't know if that's just like what I was consuming when I wasn't reading this book but like through the news and other things. It just didn't quite fit my current practice or my current association with the world and how I connect to deity or magic. If you are someone that's really looking for something that's like relevant and perfectly time to today's world and today's druid landscape, I would also say that maybe this is one that you wait to read, but I wouldn't avoid it and I certainly think it's worth reading if you're looking for something that's a little outside of your normal box. There is great information here and could be very inspiring to the right druid. I will say there are lots of great activities at the end of the each chapter which does make it very useful for someone who's trying to practice druidry on their own, maybe struggling to reconnect with a regular practice or one that really hits their lifestyle in the right way. So if you're kind of looking to explore that part where you're integrating druidry into your regular life in a new way, or you're looking for new traditions, rituals, or activities, then this book would be an excellent resource. In the comments below, I would love to hear what activity or ritual you have recently added to your practice and why it was so useful or not useful for your practice. Like, tell me the origin story of whatever new thing you have brought to your practice and experimented with. This week's sapling shout out goes out to Crystal Mama. She wrote a comment on my Druid Craft by Philip Cargom book review, and it was just super short and simple, but she said, that she enjoyed my videos and it made her want to reread the book, which is a great compliment. If you read some of the books that I reviewed, I definitely wanna hear about it in the comments and let me know if you're rereading them, that's awesome. If you wanna be the next sapling shout out, don't forget to talk to me in the comments or let me know about it on Instagram. I am really curious to hear about 
your practices and the books you are reading. Thanks for watching and as always may you find peace in the sacred grove. Mm -hmm.